Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is security intelligence update for Microsoft Defender Antivirus and the update is KB226-7602. So for some reason, if you are unable to install this update, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on system, scroll down, click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Here you can see Windows update. In front of it, you will see the option run. So click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now still you are unable to update, then restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list, make a double click on Windows update and then make sure start, startup type is set to automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on ok. With Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, now again click on restart the service. Now try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now still you are unable to update, then reset Windows update components. For this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Now open Notepad on your computer. Paste all the command in Notepad. Go to file, then click on save as, set the location as desktop, name this file as wufix.bat and for save as type, select all files, now click on save. Now go to desktop, make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services. And then it will run some scans. Now, there are a couple of scans. So, the scan will take time. And once all the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows services. And then restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now the next step is to use media creation tool. So if nothing is working, use media creation tool to update your Windows 11. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file, then click on Next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on Save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on Finish and then go to Desktop, find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on Setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps should help you to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.